Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is official. The holiday tea boxes will be here next week. So these holiday tea boxes make really good gifts. Basically you'll get three different types of teas. There's gonna be three different types of boxes to choose from. So one will be a holiday beauty box. The second will be a holiday wellness box. And the third one will be a holiday flavored box, okay? They'll come with three different teas. They all hold an ounce of tea in each canister. and You can make up to 12 to 14 cups of tea. So if you guys are interested in this, this will be available next week on lovelytea.net. And if you're interested in any other tea products, make sure you guys go on to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much once again for all your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner cheating scandal, okay? It's crazy how Travis Scott has been in the news lately, and I just recently did a video on him, okay? So what went down is that basically some random chick named Melanin Barbie, she posted a picture on Instagram basically letting the world know that she was the other woman and that Travis Scott was fucking with her, okay? So of course this picture went viral. She went from having like 100 followers to 10,000 followers within, you know, 24 hours. The Shade Room posted it, but initially when she came out, she was saying, nobody likes me, your baby daddy keeps me icy. All types of blogs ran with this story. I saw this story and I felt like it was bullshit from the time I looked at the story. And kudos to my bloggers for also using discernment because not one of my bloggers posted this bullshit ass story on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter. So kudos to y'all. Y'all pat yourselves on the back because over here we do damn research, okay? So, you know, I kind of felt like the story was bullshit, but I sat back and I watched how everything played out because, again, we live in a society where everybody wants to be first to report on some shit no matter how inaccurate it is. So the shade room was definitely first, only to have, you know, egg on their face. But what's even worse is that a lot of legitimate sites, okay, a lot of legitimate news sites, they ran with this story about Travis Scott cheating on Kylie Jenner. So this entire situation was insane. Travis Scott was online trying to defend himself. He was saying that it wasn't him. He wasn't a cheater. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of what Travis Scott was saying yesterday. Go ahead and check this out. So somebody asked Travis Scott, the press snack says, yo, is this real? And Travis Scott says, shit cap ass fuck. TMZ ain't post this shit. Trolls working hard today. I don't be on balconies with no thoughts. That shit lame. Try again, you trolls. Me and my wife sturdy. Back to celebrating. Then he comes on, he says, only got love for my wife. No time to be wasting again. So basically, he was very adamant. He All right, y'all just saw that sappy ass shit. <laughs> Anyways, so he was adamant it wasn't him and folks were dragging him, calling him all types of cheaters and everything else. And this man, this YouTube so-called prankster, his name is Christian Adams and he's now coming out today admitting that it was a prank and that he did this as a social media experiment to see who would run with this. And even that Instagram page, the Melanin Barbie page, her page has since disappeared. She's deleted her entire page. So this entire situation is crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch a snippet of what Christian Adams had to say. And the Shade Room, of course, posted this. So go ahead and check this out. After a photo surfaced of what appeared to be Travis cozying up to a mystery woman. I think it's Travis. Are you kidding me? You do? Oh my gosh, it looks just like him. Yep. <laughs> that photo you've seen of Travis Scott allegedly cheating on a significant other. Kylie Jenner was completely staged and we were the ones to do it. Never pulled off anything like this before. Never even tried. But hey, watching the yesterday's video gave me the drive to want to pull something like this off. The goal of this video is not to hurt anybody's relationship, but it's to see how gullible is the internet. The crash. All right, so you guys just saw what Christian Adams had to say. And like I said, Melon and Barbie, she deleted her page. So this entire situation is crazy. When Travis Scott saw this, he just shook his fucking head. But now Kim Kardashian is speaking out. Khloe Kardashian is speaking out. And Kylie Jenner is also speaking out as well. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what they had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Kylie posted this on her Instagram. And she says, I don't know if this is really a social experiment to some people, but you're messing with real people. 
real relationships, real family. I'm happy my relationship is strong because this is getting out of hand. The internet scares me sometimes for real. So then um, Kim Kardashian came on there and she says, I hate that I'm bringing attention to this, but this is absolutely disgusting that you would find this funny to mess with Travis and Kylie who just started a family together. This is really damaging to relationships, families, and it's so wrong. And then Chloe comes on and she's, People are absolutely disgusting. The mind games this would do to somebody, that is completely not okay. This person should be ashamed of themselves. What filth. Honey. Too bad Tristan Thompson's pictures were 100% facts, okay? Any damn ways, I do agree with Chloe. I thought this was a bit much, okay? You know, people can say this is a social media experiment. I think he's only spinning that shit because he had to come out and admit that it was fake. TMZ had already said it was fake. They didn't put the watermark on there. I feel like if this was really some type of experiment, he should have came out a lot sooner because this thing grew legs to the point where the national media was reporting on this. And he sat back and he watched all this play out for nothing more than attention, clicks, and views. So this entire situation is insane. He did all this to bring attention to his YouTube channel. But I think what I take away from this is that it just shows how gullible a lot of us are in society. As soon as we see a post, as soon as we see anything on social media, people take it as fact. More people get more news off of their Facebook feed than even in the real world. People don't even research. If they see it on Facebook, they take it as the gospel and that is not always the case, okay? So you have to be very, very careful when you're looking at information, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you have a platform and you're regurgitating a bunch of fucking lies and falsehoods, you have to watch that. And if you make a mistake and you know something turns out not to be what it was, then there's nothing wrong with coming back to your platform and saying, you know what? It was fake news, I was fooled, I apologize, take down the video. But this entire situation is just insane. I'm not surprised at all. And it's sad that so many YouTubers feel like they have to go down this pranking route and this lying route, you know, this whole social experiment route, as opposed to doing their own thing and really coming up with some decent videos and showing their talent. Like anybody can stage a photo and make something go viral. And now once that's said and done, where does that leave this young man? You know, so I just, I wasn't feeling it. I'm glad that me and none of my bloggers fell for it. We never posted the story. We didn't run with it. Because again, everything you see on social media needs to be taken with a grain of salt until further research is done. And then, like I said, if you make a mistake, you come back, apologize, update the information, you know what I mean? And let people know the truth about what's going on. We're going to see Dada. Dada, Dada, Dada. Dada. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside, when they pull up, they give me loose it Was off the Remy, had up at post So her dad gets stormy, not me, stormy <laughs> Her own room at every venue, so This is your room, girl She, you know, we don't let her out Because of the, how loud it is out there but she just usually stays backstage and watches until her bedtime. She'll watch on the TV what's going on. <laughs> So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Jenner Kardashian clan, basically coming for this YouTube prankster who made this whole social media experiment. Were you one of the people who fell for this? Did you think that Travis Scott was cheating on Kylie? Or did you call bullshit from day one? And then do you feel like things like this are okay to do because it's an experiment? Or do you feel like this is not okay? Because things like this really can ruin, you know, relationships and affect people's marriages and you know things like that you know and that's a good thing that Kylie and Travis for the most part are securing a relationship because a couple who's already dealt with infidelity who've been going through stuff in their relationship this could have been the tipping point for them so we have to watch the things that we put out there because you know when you're spreading lies and you're just you know starting stuff because you want clicks and views realize that that same drama and that same energy that you're putting out there can show up on your doorstep as well okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment 
Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Kardashian and Jenner clan and this fake social media experiment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss <laughs>